Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another edition of Foodie Fridays. I had such a great response last week from the crock pot chicken and dumplings that I decided to do another crock pot recipe this week. Now this is a recipe I've made multiple times and we absolutely love it. I do a little spin on it, but you can definitely tweak it to your liking. But what this recipe is, is cola pot roast. Yes, made with Coke or any type of like Dr. Pepper or root beer even, any type of carbonated beverage of your choice. It's a super easy recipe. I know so many of y'all appreciate the super easy recipes, especially if you're a working mom, working dad, whatever. <laughs> if you're just work in general, if you even don't have kids, it's just super easy when you um, are always busy and on the go. So let's get right into it. So the first ingredient that you're going to need is some onion soup and dip mix. Now I got this at Dollar Tree and it came in a two pack, so that's great. But this is great for all kinds of crock pot recipes. So I always like to have that on hand. So you need one packet of that. The original recipe called for one packet of this brown gravy mix, or actually half a packet. I like to add the whole packet because who wants to save half a packet of gravy mix just laying around and it tastes fine with the extra gravy mix. You need a can of cream of mushroom soup. I just like to use anything that's cheap, obviously, especially when you're doing these crock pot recipes. And you need eight ounces of your cola. Now this is regular brand name Coke that I use. I've used Dr. Pepper before. I haven't used root beer in this recipe. I do a really good pulled pork root beer crock pot recipe that I'm going to share with y'all later too that we absolutely love and everybody that eats it raves about it. But I always um, use Coke in this recipe. And you also need a four pound roast. It can be bigger than that. I already have the roast in the crock pot. It's actually a deer roast from when my husband went deer hunting um, last year, so I'm trying to use up all that deer meat before it goes bad in the freezer. Um, you can use any type of roast that you want. So um, deer actually is a little bit more tough. So the Coke is what it's meant to do, guys, in here. Not so much for the flavoring, but the acid from the Coke, it will break down and tenderize the meat. So that's why you want to have it in there because it makes it really, really tender after it cooks in the slow cooker. All right, so those are all the ingredients. Let's get into what you're going to do next. All right, y'all, what I've done is I've went ahead and I've put two tablespoons of water in a little mixing bowl. Then you're going to take your brown gravy mix and you're going to pour the entire packet in. If you only want to use half a packet, you can, but like I said, I just go ahead and use the entire packet. And then you're going to take a spoon or a spatula and you're going to, or a silicone spatula, and you're going to smooth it into a little thick paste. It will be pretty thick as you see here. All right, so after we have stirred that together in a thick paste, we're going to add the onion soup mix the packet that I showed you a few minutes ago. We're gonna add that whole thing in there. And then we're also gonna add the cream of mushroom soup. And sorry if I'm shaking y'all, but I'm trying to do this around y'all and it's kind of difficult. All right, so there goes the onion soup packet and also the cream of mushroom soup. And you wanna to try to get as much of that out of the can as possible. Sometimes it's kind of hard to get it out of the can. All right, so I'm gonna give that a quick little stir there. And as you can see, it's gonna be super thick because you only had that two tablespoons of water. So it's gonna be really, really thick, but that's okay, it's supposed to look like that. And then after you put all those ingredients together, then you're gonna take your eight ounces of your carbonated beverage, I'm using regular Coke, and you're gonna pour that in. And you want that fizz. You see that fizz? That's going to tenderize your meat. So you want it to be carbonated. And I don't like to stir it too much because I don't want to lose that carbonation. But I kind of just marry the flavors together and kind of incorporate it. It's okay if it's not smooth. It will smooth out in the crock pot. So I don't like to mess with it too much because I don't want to mess with any of that awesome carbonation that's going to break down our meat. So after I've put all that together, you're gonna to pour this over your roast and you're gonna put the lid on the crock pot. How easy is this? I love bringing y'all easy recipes that taste phenomenal. Now, before we get to the roast guys, real quick right here, I did not mention a few minutes ago that this is a crock pot roast recipe. I don't use this for actually like a main dish for a roast. I use it to make roast beef po'boys. It's delicious for that and it makes a big 
big pot of it. So it's great for like a potluck or, you know, a barbecue or some kind of gathering. It's really great for that. But if you wanted to make it as a main dish, then you're going to want to add your vegetables to it, like some carrots, maybe some garlic, some potatoes, um, and chop that up and put it in there too. I've done that before as a main dish and it's the bomb. So you can do that as well if you want to do it as a main dish and not for roast beef po'boys per se, but we're making it tonight for sandwiches. So let's get into the next part. All right, y'all. So now here's my roast in the crock pot and this one's probably, I guess it's about four pounds, but like I said, it doesn't matter. It can be more, it can be less, whichever you have on hand. And I'm taking my liquid mixture and now I'm pouring it and you want to try to cover the entire roast as much as possible. You can add some chopped garlic to this. That would be great too. I've done that before in the past. And I'm actually going to get everything in there because I have a little bit of that soup sticking to the bottom of my bowl. So I want to make sure all that liquid is in there because the more liquid, the better. All right, so now everything is in the crock pot. Again, I'm going to put my lid on. Sorry, guys. I'm so bad about hitting y'all when doing these cooking videos. I got to work on that. So I'm going to put the lid on, and I'm going to actually set mine for high because I'm on a time crunch. I'm actually putting this in here a little bit later than I'd like for us to have dinner. So I'm going to put mine on high for six hours, but I usually like to do it on low for eight hours. I always like to cook everything in my slow cooker on low for eight hours because I just think it cooks slow and it does a lot better with breaking down meat. But I'm going to try it on high for six hours. So I will be back in six hours and I'll show you what you're going to do next. All right, y'all. It has been six hours. And if you hear a lot of noise from now on through the video, everybody is home because it's afternoon and we're getting ready for dinner time. So there's going to be noise because everybody's here. So again, I used a deer roast. And guys, look, even though it's a, you know, a kind of a tough cut of meat, it's coming just beautifully um, shredding right there. All right, and I cooked mine on a uh, high, excuse me, for six hours. Usually I like to do it on low for eight hours, but that would have made us eating too late. So I went ahead and upped the time, which I usually don't. So you're gonna wanna take two forks and you're going to shred your roast. You want it to be really um, fine if you're making this for po' boys. Now, if you're doing it as just a roast with potatoes and carrots and different vegetables like I talked about earlier, then you can, you know, leave it as is and then just take little sections of it to eat on your plate. That is totally your choice. But we like to do this as po' boys or sandwiches, so I like to shred mine as fine as possible. And then I let it sit in this gravy for about 30 minutes before we make our sandwiches. And I will show you the toppings that we use for our sandwiches before I make it and plate it for you guys. I actually also made my potato salad, which is really good, and I usually get a lot of compliments on it. It was actually a recipe that was given to me by my best friend from high school. So if you would like to see me do a Foodie Fridays on the potato salad, because I know potato salad can be hard, it can be tricky as far as making it and making it come out right. So if you want to see that, let me know in the comments below, and I will do that for a future Foodie Fridays because I make it all the time. So it's not an issue for me to make a video on how to make that. All right, so let me finish shredding up the roast beef and then I will show you the toppings and then we will plate these bad boys. I, it makes the whole house smell so yummy so you don't need any candles burning or whatever the day that you make this because your house smells just like roast beef. It smells so good. All right, so let me finish this and I'll be back in a minute. All right, y'all, so I am back and we are ready to go ahead and start plating these bad boys. So what I did is I went ahead and toasted or broiled some po' boy bread. I just got this cobblestone kind, sub rolls, and I put some Swiss cheese on the bottom. You can use mozzarella, use whatever you want, and I just let that cheese melt and toasted the buns. We like to do that. I lined up some pickles because we like pickles on ours. And now what I'm going to do is we're going to actually put... I'm going to move the plate over here for a minute. We're going to put the roast beef on top of the po' boy. <laughs> Y'all enjoying your ABCs? Right, so I kind of made a mess there, but what recipe isn't a recipe without making a little mess? So put my, po my roast beef there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some lettuce on top. It's good. 
All right, so there is my lettuce on top, and we like to eat these with mayonnaise. You might want to just eat them plain, or you might want mustard or something on them, but we like mayonnaise on ours, so I'm going to douse this thing with some mayonnaise. And in the South, good old blue plate. So if you're in the South, you know all about it. So I'm just going to put some mayonnaise on there. All right, and then you close your bun, guys, and that is your roast beef po' boys for the cola pot roast. How yummy does that look? And I'm so excited to eat these. I made the potato salad to go with it, so we are ready to dig in. Look at that, that looks so scrumptious. I mean, huge, big portion, guys. You definitely don't have to make this big of a portion, but this is definitely um, a treat for us when we make these every once in a while. All right, so that was the cola pot roast for Foodie Fridays. Give this video a thumbs up if you are loving the Foodie Fridays, and please come back and tell me if you tried this cola pot roast recipe out and how you liked it, because I love how y'all came back for the chicken and dumplings recipe and told me how you like it. It really um, it really makes me feel good knowing that y'all made those recipes. And hit that subscribe button if you're not with me already because I do a Foodie Fridays every Friday here on the channel. And until next week with another Foodie Fridays, y'all let me know of any recipes that y'all want to see in the comments below. I have some other ideas, but let me know. Love you guys so much. Have a great night. Bye.